I am part of a Hurricane Maria assistance program in NYU, which brought 57 students and provided us with the resources and the space to continue our education as our home country and institutions, Puerto Rico, recovered. The experience has been extraordinary and I am grateful for it. But Puerto Rico is not recovered. For the last six months, I have watched as my people have suffered. I have watched as education is attacked. Schools are closed by the hundreds. As labor reform pushes our people into poverty. In the aftermath of Hurricane Maria, I was evacuated because an ammonia tank was about to explode. I had my ex-boyfriend nearly kill me by flooring the accelerator and almost crashing the car into another because he was in a moment of rage. I had my mother in the hospital. Those were nights of darkness, both in my fears and my reality as I went home alone. I had my brother as well become sick as he was also clinically depressed. By coming here, I had the opportunity to both learn about myself and my people. I learned about my history, but I also became aware of my oppression. So now, living with this anxiety, living with all of this, I ask for more time. I ask for the ability to continue growing, but also the ability to conceptualize a world where I can actually live. And for that, I need more time. I ask that NYU extend the program for at least another semester because the reality is dire in Puerto Rico. And whether the government or the U.S. wants to say it or not, our people are suffering, our people don't see a future, our people are tired and they're overwhelmed and they're exhausted. Fighting is the norm and we do not see a way out. And I need that time to find my way out.